But he came anyway. Now, one thing that was common to both the angels and the first humans
Moreover, there is always this tendency in most humans not to want to submit to God. It is as if once they come to Christ, they are going to be stopped from living or from enjoying all the benefits of living. It is as if they are going to be put in chains when they are asked to follow the Christ of God. We know that the dissuading voices ringing in the ears of these ones are all the usual lies of the devil. However, Christ was and is not unaware of these tendencies planted in all fallen humans by fallen spirits. Nevertheless, the Lord Jesus Christ continues to invite all humans to himself. For instance, in the Gospel according to Matthew chapter 11, verses 28, 29, and 30, the Lord says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden and overburdened, and I will cause you to rest. That is, I will ease and relieve and refresh your souls. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am gentle, that is, meek and humble, that is, lowly in heart and you will find rest that is relief and ease and refreshment and recreation and blessed quiet for your souls for my yoke is wholesome that is useful good not harsh hard sharp or present but comfortable gracious and pleasant and my body is light and easy to be born therefore rather than seek to be independent of God the Almighty wants humans to constantly seek his face the great king david taught us how to do it here the psalmist as he talked to the almighty god this is in psalm 27 he was talking to the almighty he said, you have said, seek my face, that is, inquire for and require my presence as your vital need. My heart says to you, your face, that is, your presence, Lord, will I seek inquire for and require that is of necessity 
and on the authority of your word. Also, the blessed Apostle Paul touched on the utter foolishness of anyone thinking that they do not need God to live, referring to how much we need the Almighty God. The Apostle states in Acts of the Apostles, chapter. 17 verse 28 for in him we live and move and have our being whereas it is the creation that cannot do without God the enemy of God and man that is certain, paints an entirely different picture. The devil gives the impression that it is God who cannot do without the creation. However, consider the words of Christ. In the Gospel according to St. John chapter 15, Verse 5 I am the vine You are the branches Whoever lives in me and I in him Bears much fruit However, apart from me That is, cut off from vital union with me You can do nothing We all know that without the sustaining power of the Almighty God, creation with us. This is most evident in the effect of the fall of man and that of angels on creation as a whole. Due to the inordinate ambition of a section of angels and the successful co-optation of the first humans into the same satanic drive, the whole of creation fell into a state of entropy. This is a state of disorganization and decay. The Bible states in the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 22 and 23. We know that the whole creation, that is, of irrational creatures, has been mourning together in the pains of labor until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves too who have and enjoy the first, first fruits of the Holy Spirit that is a foretaste that is a foretaste of the blissful things to come grown inwardly as we wait for the redemption of our bodies, that is, from sensuality and the grave, which will reveal our adoption, that is, our manifestation as God's sons. Due to all the foregoing, the Almighty God has chosen a day when He will judge the whole of creation. This is when all those who have always wanted to be independent of God 
will have their prayers answered. Surely, they will have all their wishes granted. This is when they will all be separated from God forever. In the same vein, all those who have always loved the Almighty God will also be set apart for God's glory forever. This will dwell eternally in God's presence in the new heaven and the new earth. You will agree with me. This will be justice. Perfectly executed. Those who disdain God and rejected God will be separated from those who love God. For those who worship God. For those who keyed into the salvation of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, my listeners, my brothers, my sisters, we've come to the end of the video. I implore you to make your peace with God if you have not already done so. He loves you with an everlasting love that you need to turn to him because he wants you he loves you his plan is for you to dwell in his presence forever and ever so it is for you to choose God if you do so that means you are choosing right and he will not let you down he will not disappoint you because he's a faithful God. My friends, God bless you mightily. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly, kindly do so and switch on the notification button and like and share the video. And by special grace, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much.